sentinel. What is this mess? What is this hot garbo? Uh, yeah, the middle has the most permanent blocks, which allows me to do this. Was it worth it after all? Probably part one solved, kind of, in a way. So now the question is, can I get up there? Extract our blocks. Those ones are attached. Because you might need to stab one into the spikes at the top. I don't see why, though. Maybe. Because it would create a floating platform. By floating, I mean you won't have to fill in the spaces below it. Oh, I was able to do it just like that. <laughs> I thought I had to put more work into that. I was trying to figure out how to do it logistically. I was about to take this long piece and replace one of these pieces with it. So that I could then use that one to do stuff. But I guess we're already done. Hmm. A long piece could could impale on the spikes below that one instead and stick out to the right. And then I could walk on that because that's like the one space I'm missing. The problem is my current long piece has my thing on it. And I don't know if I could have not had that. I can't bring... I can't separate a block like that, can I? Not putting that back on. Is my long... I'm trying to figure out, like, is there a version of my long piece idea that works? Where I create a block, just, like, one above the tower I'm standing on. Because that'd be the exact height you need to be able to climb up t upstairs. The staircase should be easy from there, except for the part where I don't understand how that piece could exist. So it would have to be two disposable pieces, not my belongings. Right? Hmm. 
This whole plan's bad, right? Nothing about that's working. They gave me a lot of blocks, though. Can I just get it? It should be safe. Because you just activate the spikes, which I, I have a plan for how to deal with the spikes anyway. Hmm. That's interesting. So that opens up the idea that I could shoot something else with the arrow. Let's try doing that. Um, help. I'm gonna need to use a step. <laughs> Hello. So now your arrow shot. Ooh, I don't want both of you in there though. Ooh, that's not. <laughs> Not what I wanted in my life. There you go. That's basically what I was going for earlier. Let's try stabbing something into you. And there's what I was talking about earlier. I think technically I was saying to put it on the right, but yeah. Staircase? Hey, it all came all according to plan. Hey, the day, the ooh, I think I skipped the 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 animation of it quitting by pressing A. There we go. Satisfying when your idea works out like that, even if it took a very different form than expected. I'm super dead. Infinity. That's hmm. Hmm. This level's pretty bonkers. Man. I definitely get the feeling that I have to build something strange. They don't give me anything to interact with, it's just this one pillar and that platform. And I can't step on this first, <laughs> so that's gotta be you, right? There's nothing else here. So those spikes are going up no matter what. But I do have a choice here, I could drop it like that, or I can use this platform to separate things. But maybe only that much. Let's put them both, let us put the spikes, the arrows on the top part of that platform. With that here, I can now goop. Not like that. Not like this. Not like this. Strikes me as unhelpful. Maybe like that? I'm not loving it. <laughs> I'm not loving this plan so far. Let's see. The arrow dispense... yeah. 
The arrow dispensers are super far away, so we're not reloading them. I just imagine we need some- it's called infinity probably because we need some kind of setup that lets us climb across spikes forever. Infinity? So what is like a shape I can make that lets me pull it back out of... Hmm. Ow. Pretty sure I'm dead wrong right off the bat. Not sure how I'll separate it, but I think I... Hmm, maybe... I think I need two separate objects. Probably made of the spikes. I mean, the arrows. Probably detach one of them... ...to the regular block and one of them to... ...the belongings block? Like a couple of hooks? Because if I'm gonna walk across the spikes, I need to be able to walk onto a different object, then grab the previous one, then walk onto that one... And then walk, then put that down and grab the previous one and... Like, you need to be able to have a looping thing that you can do. And then since it's called infinity, I take it that... If something works for that many spikes, they, it could work for a lot more spikes. Like, they could just give me an expanse and I could just keep repeating the pattern until I'm all the way across it, no matter how long it is at that point. It might just be a couple of hooks. The problem is that if I'm gonna do two separate hooks, I need to dismantle this. Can I? I think I can make that. Yeah, I can make that work. Hmm. Now the question is top or bottom hooks? Probably bottom, because you'd have walkways that essentially have something sticking up as a handle so you can grab it. But I'd want to stack them like this. Ta-da. that and separate this one big to da hmm how's this part gonna work let's maybe start off centered <laughs> Like, I can walk from here to there. I can grab you. Yep, this is probably how the whole thing would work infinitely, right? Yep. There is a system. I just need to get you upstairs. Hey! That was a neat one. One eighty. Be funny if I ended up where I started, considering it's one eighty. <laughs> And I continually have zero concept of how long this game is. There's watermelons now! <laughs> Why are there watermelons in the snow? What is that correlation? Alright, abyss, dividing line, shit. 
Did I imagine the abyss? But I walked to the middle one first? Okay. Ugh. Arrow and water. Die, arrow. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, uh. Poof. I can't even reach that far. Yep. It almost looks like the water renders too high or something. Nope. Oh. Is this new music? Guys, this game's hard. I, uh. Ah, oh, my. <laughs> my shins! Okay, so I need to attach you dudes to each other, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not sure if just lengthwise is gonna be enough. At the very least, it lets you reach over there, but yeah, it causes a few problems. What happens if I do it from this side? Oh! Look at me go! Wowee! Um... Hmm... That seems really intentional. That seems like it's what you're supposed to do, because the platform's very specifically just long enough to enable that to happen. I can't reach the fire from here. I can hold it back from going through the water, but only with my body, so the moment I leave, it's gone. This does weird shit, physics-wise. Really, that's the way it gets knocked off? Huh. So it's not long enough to reach into the fire. Blows with the water. And I'm also not able to climb up to it from here. Nope. That's trapped. <laughs> I there was a way to get on the platform. Yeah, as far as I can tell, it takes off without me. Well, if nothing else is working... What does interest me about the stream is that it does go in a straight line. And that has a specific relationship with arrows. Nope. Not dead on. That'd be bad. Side, though? That's bad. And good. Carried myself. There we go. Now we don't lose the block. Hmm. What am I going to do with that? This angle, things end up a little different. Eh? Hmm. Hmm. 
Because that gave me access to the platform, but it didn't let me angle it right. Shit. Hmm. Well, that's not helpful. It never stops directly over it. Uh, I fucked up at like the beginning. So it has to be. I have to put the arrow on the opposite side of the block. Did I do it right? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little hard to think that far ahead, configuration-wise. Oop. Except when it's on this side of the block, I can't... Make it reach that far? Shit, what was- what was wrong? Yeah. Okay, so I need the arrow to be on the left. On the right. Cause on this side there's a gap, so I can't reach it. But on this side there's no gap, so if it, if you, if 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 the right side has my belongings on it, then I'm good. So it'd have to be like this. Which then raises some questions. as to how I do this. Because, like, that destroys it, and now the arrow doesn't line up? But the floor is too far, so how do I cross that gap? Yeah, that doesn't work at all. No, there's no way. Can I, go, can I still go back? Please? Ah. Oh, that's interesting. It's the wrong angle again here. I need to be able to grab it here, don't I? Almost. Which means I need to flip this around 180 degrees so I can grab it from that side on the other side. Ah, my sp fuck. <laughs> I need to take a break after this episode. After this level. Fuck. My spatial reasoning is not working out great right now. I keep forgetting what... The, the exact image of what I had. I need to hold it like like this, and then I, if I'm standing on that pet on that blue spot while I'm holding it like this, I win. But I need to get that. I need to re go work backwards from there and get what I need done there, which for, should first of all involve. Grabbing it from the opposite end, because it needs to flip a 180. I can't go into the water. Man... My sessions are really short with this game. It's just too taxing. I have to like... Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle to keep up with the video output. And then just kind of go and do other stuff in the meantime. <sighs> Fuck. I've completely lost the thread again. I had it like right there. 
I just need to grab slightly to the side. Is that it? Jeez, I stumbled right into that. Okay. Ooh. Dividing line. There's more up there. Ow. Oh. Shit. I think we're coming up on the ending. Is it going to be a hundred? This is 10 more. Which takes us to 190. That's belongings in the overworld. That tells me that might be the ending right there. Hello? The Abyss. Wow, what a welcoming <laughs> name for a level. I... I see, there it goes, there's the abyss. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old son. Through the shoulders, that's a lot of body to go through. It just seems difficult, I forgot that the triggers zoom in and out. <laughs> Whoa. Basically news to me. Okay, so, you kill me. That's an important mechanic. Uh, you're a river, so stop that. Um, what the fuck? Oh, man. This one's immediately impossible looking. What do I do with this one? They just put... They just put it on the ledge. This is... Bye! You lose! Uh... What? Like, like what actually, how? How actually? anything even beginning to look like a plan on this one what it's so far away and high and at the end of a river and on a ledge in both directions you could push it in <laughs> you know what <laughs> hi over your head oh wow you fucking you're calling me out huh I see I see how it is. Cool. What? a lot. Okay, so there is fire over there. I need to get past the river. Mm. I totally just had the thought of like, am I am I up for this today? <laughs> am I am I ready to do this? But like, I, I got it. I gotta get this done at some point. I, pr I procrastinate on this game. It's just tiring. I... <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? 
What am I looking at? What is this? <laughs> okay, so there's a long piece over there. Uh, if it went on the river and it was on that water and then over the gap on the other side, it would create a bridge so that if I was standing on this, I could walk across the bridge and go over there. But like, how would I get on top of here? That sounds irrelevant. There is... There is that. That didn't push that? Red, that only happens... <sighs> that happens when something gets launched. That doesn't happen when something gets shot. So that was never gonna go anywhere. The platform over there, which makes me wonder if I'm supposed to use it for something? Oh. Hello. <laughs> Alright. That was one of those ones where you solve the puzzle by just doing stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I just do things, and then the puzzle, the solution just kind of happens at me. And I'm like, oh, there it is. Hi. Hi. 